I knew it. I knew that wouldn't work. All right. You gonna be okay for a minute? We'll have to see how you go, okay? Join me as I work out my whole life. Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine Murphy and I am the happy and mostly sane mother of 11 children. This is young Luke Murphy. And I will see how long he actually takes to be okay before he needs to go to bed. I... Have you had enough? Has he had enough? Okay, let's try this again. Let's try to be normal and to be comfortable and to discuss a few things and then we'll just see how this works out all right i think that's the best plan i also think maybe the camera's too low but i really don't know i don't know i don't know the brief snapshot of my life is i want to make serious changes to my life i want to improve my life and improve myself and i want to not keep feeling like I need to reset a schedule or write a new schedule or argue with my husband that it's schedule and not schedule. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. This is the second time I'm filming this because I want to be more... succinct with what I say. That's the plan. So I am nearing the end of finishing this quilt. I think it's technically a cot size. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but I have from here to here to finish on the binding. And the baby's in bed. I tried to have him in here earlier, but he didn't want a bar of it, so he has been fed and popped in bed, and I want to talk to you about what is coming up for June. June, in my house, is... Oh, I forgot. I forgot to tell everybody who hasn't seen these videos before. Hello, my name is Catherine. I live in Melbourne, Australia with my husband, Ben, and together we have 11 children. My channel is primarily about me and my life and wanting to be encouraging especially to other mothers about motherhood and their life and I don't know so I'm just me all right I am probably what more than four people consider to be a funny person and then for some bizarre reason when I start filming, I come across as if I'm very serious, and I'm not. But I have been thinking about a topic lately that has seriously been bothering me, and that is myself. I'm bothered by myself. So let me snip this thread off and pay close attention to talking to you guys. In my family, we have birthdays every single month of the year. Was that English? Month of the year? What's the year of the month? Month of the year. And throw in like things like Easter and Christmas and my wedding anniversary and stuff like that. There's a lot going on from month to month. However, the month of June, there are no birthdays. I mean, it might be your birthday, but there's no birthdays I can think of. Apologies, relatives and friends and family, if you're like, hey, my birthday's in June, what about me? You are not chopped liver. You're important and valuable. But for the point of this video, it is the only month of the year that I have actually got a little bit more brain space to prayerfully plan the whole rest of my life. <laughs> but I was 
was like, hey, don't be too hard on yourself. So my deadline for like really getting my together is May. May next year. Because I thought once and for all, before my oldest turns 20 years old, I'm going to sort myself out. My husband has greatly encouraged me. The other day we ran out of things like bacon and potatoes. Shame on me. How can my last name be Murphy and we run out of potatoes? I haven't done a menu plan for the month of May. A lot of things have slipped through the cracks and I started to really feel overwhelmed. I think it might be to do with the fact that I had a baby last December and I've been recovering from cesarean. I've been dealing with different things in my life and I'm only just really now that Luke is five months old that I'm kind of coming up for air a little bit a little bit I do have three like appointments in June that are I'm required to attend but other than that I plan on spending the month of June getting back to resetting and sorting out my life that's the plan so I will be picking um, certain days of the week where certain things get done I will be finessing my schedule and Sticking to the schedule, but minus the stress. So when my kids were younger, I did everything, absolutely everything. And I was very smart, I believe, through the encouragement of my husband. I have taught my children, especially my older children, how to do everything. Like they could run a house. So if I was sick in bed, I literally, hand on heart, could lay in bed for the whole day and know that the entire house would keep going. But I used to be very stressed when I did that. That was before I had a YouTube channel and I was dealing with a lot and I'm still dealing with a lot of head stuff from stuff I went through as a child. I'm just really trying to let it all go. I was really stressed and I was on my own doing it because Ben has always worked outside of the house and it was hard. So I want to get back to being more organized, having dedicated days to do things and being having firmer boundaries and not letting outside influences just say, hey, do this or come to this or what about that? Because just because it's somebody else's good idea doesn't mean that it won't cause very large amounts of stress. So that's goal one, reduce the stress. Goal two, build the schedule. Goal three, do the schedule. And just, I don't know what number I'm gonna be up to, number 359, be cool, enjoy life. That's the plan. So, Yes, hopefully this is interesting to you and you want to join me in, you know, working out how, how am I, mother of 11, actually going to achieve the things that I want to achieve. Doing more things that I want to do, finishing quilts, learning how to crochet and maybe knit seems like so difficult to do. Organizing, decluttering, cleaning, fixing up, selling, moving, happily ever after takes a lot of action. So lights, camera, action, that is my plan. I want to show up for other people so that you can feel some kind of solace like, oh wow, I'm overwhelmed and she is as well. <laughs> And then together we can sort it out because I know I am different, right? Because I don't know, I'm different. We're all different. I have a lot of children, not many people 
have this many children, but I have had my heart like really messed up lately because I feel so incredibly grateful of all the blessings that I have in my life, of all the areas that I can see how God helped me out throughout my life. Um, and I'm very blessed. I have a very good life, but I have a tendency to worry and I have a tendency to think about stuff that happened to me and keep wondering why did it happen. I already had started like filming lots of different things. I don't even know how to edit it all. Edit it, 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 it. Show it to you. I don't even know how to do it. But I plan on doing it. I plan on only filming on my fancy camera, which I have had issues with in the past with, you know, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be clear so you can clearly see me and the background is supposed to be like a little bit blurry. So I don't know. I don't even have time to like watch a YouTube video on how to use my camera and then go into the settings. I just want to turn my camera on and press record and do it. So it's going to be a wild ride. Many goals, many things that I don't even feel like I want to write down in a bullet journal. I just want to write them on a piece of paper, brain dump them out and start achieving those things so that me and Ben and our 11 children can live our happy, wonderful life and prayerfully move. That's really the very big goal. So I don't even know how to do that or where to move. I don't know. We know like we want a lot of land, a lot of land. I know I'm different, but I also know that, you know, it's not too uncommon for a wife and a mother to become overwhelmed. But it's not lost on me that I am very fortunate. I have 11 healthy, beautiful, lovely children. I have a husband who comes home every day and smiles at me. Um, I am of sound mind and body. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I could do it. I've just, I've been really struggling with like self-belief during May. I didn't even do a menu plan. I've had moments where I've just suddenly felt a bit like, ah. and I really need to declutter my phone and start editing and uploading videos and making a schedule for everything. And, um, I, I spend too much time wishing I just wasn't the way I was and that I was more entertaining and I had more exciting things to share and do and be. But I just, this is it, guys. This is it. This is me. Um, I want to learn so many things and I just don't seem to make time for it. So even though the like artistic, crafty, maybe extroverted person that I am wants to just be casual and fly by the seat of my pants. That plan is not working when you have a large family. If you want a family to run well, you can't be that way. I just know that if you watch a YouTube video and it's beautifully curated and everything is perfect in the background, that that takes monumental amounts of effort if you don't have like outside help or really a ton of money or if you're not super stressed because I've watched YouTube channels where I the person will admit like say in the comments they'll be like yeah I'm stressed out of my mind all the time I'm like I don't want to be stressed <sighs> but I want to I you know improve June is my month June is my month no birthdays no major things, I can do the things. Gotta make some hard decisions. And um, it should be good. So this is stage one, stage one of just putting it out there, talking to you guys about it. 
apologizing for being hopeless at replying to comments, feeling like I have massive ADHD because I have so much going on in my brain that I then don't even know what I just said to you. And so, yeah, this is going to be my final effort at filming this. And I'm already overthinking it. I'm already thinking, delete it all. Delete everything. Shave your head and grow new hair and get new teeth and get new glasses and lose 50 kilos. So, on that bright note, I'll let you go. I'll be seeing you again soon because I want to show you this process of how I did it. I want to succeed. I want to believe in myself more and be more self-confident and not worry and I want to delete every past memory of my life except the good ones. <laughs> That's a, is that too much to ask? I don't know. But yes, so there's a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do, but I've got to start somewhere. This is step one and I'll see you in the next video with the progress of how this plan unfolds to becoming the best me, running a good house, learning the things that I want to learn, doing the things, living the life. <sighs> yeah. So, first step, after I turn off the camera, I must go and drink copious amounts of water and eat more food because I am terrible at under eating and under drinking of water so i'm gonna go you go drink some water have your vitamins if you have vitamins and we can do this we can we must <laughs>